Welcome back to Vesca Falls for another episode of Behind the Curtain with me, Ranger Nick. Today we're going to be talking about our fly fishing program and our hunting program up here. So it's important to note these two programs are generally very separate from the scouting program up here. You are required to be registered to fly fish on the property. Unless you're up here with your troop, then as long as you have your state license and your trout stamp, you can fish on the bush kill. But for anybody else, you do have to be registered with the property in order to fly fish. And then we have a whole separate registration process for the hunting. So here we are at the fish nursery directly across the street from the main entrance of camp. Uh, this area is something you can visit while you're up here camping with your troop or over the summer. Um, but to the general public, it is on our private property, so you cannot visit here. But here we have 2,350 trout that the state brings in each year. They bring them in in June. We raise them and feed them throughout the year and then eventually put them into the creek in uh, April or May. Uh, this is in addition to another 6,000 trout that the state brings in. So this year, like most years, we have 2,300 rainbow trout and 50 golden trout in here. So just to show you how this works. This is actually all connected to a little stream here that feeds all the water into here. So we'll walk over. There's a small little stream that runs along 402. Comes down and then all the water flows into this, this uh, little box here. It goes about two feet down and then there's two six inch PVC pipes that all the water from this little stream will go into. Then goes underground. Under the road here. And then eventually comes in into our little nursery over here. So nursery overall, we keep the water about two feet deep just to keep the water a little bit cooler for them over the summer. The, you know, the water moves through the entire nursery that eventually exits out and feeds into the bush kill. So when we get the trout, they're normally somewhere in the realm of maybe about four or five inches, you know, really small. So throughout, throughout the year while we have them, we feed them a uh, little uh, slow sink pellets there. During the summer, we, ha we have to feed them twice a day. Uh, over the winter, while they're less active, uh, they're gonna eat a lot less, so we only feed them about once a day. And of course, we're up here in the Poconos, it gets pretty cold sometimes over the winter. This whole thing will freeze over on top. So in that case, the, the fish are in such a slow state of motion that uh, we really don't need to feed them during those times. Now, uh, the fish do get a, a few additional nu nutrients coming in through the stream. Um, the water does get somewhat aerated from the heavy flow of water. But if you notice the white pipe running all the way along, that is for air. So off the white pipe, there's valves and hoses that go into the water. Uh, you can see it bubbling up there. There's uh, aeration stones below the surface that put all that extra oxygen into the into the water just so the fish can you know breathe well because it is still a somewhat slow moving area i'll show you how we pump all that air in there we just have a simple uh air pump it's also where we store the food so all that air gets pumped in keeps the oxygen levels at a healthy level for the trout so, one thing I have to do each day, I gotta come over here, feed the trout. Normally they see me or see the red can, they normally start getting really excited and they'll start just jumping up as soon as the food goes in. So this is our fish nursery. Um, like I said, certainly you're welcome to visit when you're up here with your troop. And I, 
anybody that has any more questions while you're up here i'm more than willing to answer any questions and this is our fish nursery so in addition to fly fishing rescue falls does offer a hunting program for the property too it's a very controlled program all meant to just simply control the population of wildlife on the property in accordance with state regulations and following very specific conservation practices in order to keep the population low enough that the forest is sustainable and the population stays controlled. A lot of this has been important with our conservation projects as far as the deer because in the past there has been an overpopulation of deer in this area to, which doesn't allow the younger trees to grow, especially some of the more desirable hardwoods because they grow a whole lot slower so the deer will eat them before they have a chance to grow into mature trees, allowing some of the quicker growing, less desirable like birch trees to grow. Uh, that's why you'll see across the property there's some different deer exclusion fences. Uh, Pretty much just meant to keep the deer out of that area because then we are hoping for those hardwoods to become mature trees at some point. So hunting is a very important part of this. So the hunting program, I personally manage uh, every single hunter that comes onto the property. We have, right now we have approximately 70 hunters that come onto the property. So spread out over 4,000 acres it's a lot of room a lot of space for the hunters to spread out which is really a positive for the safety of the hunters you have a lot of the public hunting grounds where there's people on top of people and just creates somewhat of an unsafe environment but up here we really like to have a safe environment for all the hunters to be able to spread out have their own area and the hunters also very much know each other so they know to respect each other's space so we are open to any game of hunting, uh, any game that the state lets you actually hunt. Uh, we do have a couple of restrictions. Uh, we never allow hunters on the property while there's scouts here. So there's never any hunters here over the summer. Uh, we don't allow any hunting on Friday through Sunday, uh, just to totally separate and, and keep everyone safe. So uh, some of the more popular seasons up here are uh, deer and bear. So bear is normally right there before Thanksgiving, followed immediately by the deer rifle season. So here behind me, you can see uh, two, two of the game that I was able to harvest while here on the property. Uh, up above is uh, the very first deer I ever got hunting, which uh, I didn't get until 20, 2015, uh, it was actually my first year's ranger up here, and I had never been in a hunting bef before then, but uh, managing the hunting program, I thought it was important to be able to actually hunt to kind of understand where the hunters are coming from and better understand all the rules and regulations involved with it. So that was the very first deer I got. It was a very good mature doe. And uh, down below here, this was the first and only bear I've ever gotten. Um, she was 287 pounds, uh, got her in 2017, um, was going through the woods right about, uh, you know, right about sunset. So r right as the hunting hours were ending and she, uh, kind of popped out of the, the swamp I was moving through about 20 yards away from me. So. I was able to harvest her and, uh, you know, kind of, like I said, continue to control the population up here. So hunting, it's, it's not just a sport, it's, you know, sustaining the forest, sustaining the wildlife population, and, and then also providing food for a household. So it's very important in that regard. So hopefully you've learned a little bit more about the uh, fly fishing and hunting programs here at Resica. Uh, when it comes to hunting, like I said, I run the entire program. We're always looking to get more uh, scouts and scout families involved in this. Uh, in addition to 
uh, anybody else that would, that would want to get involved with it. Um, for that, you can reach out directly to me at uh, ranger at rescafalls.org. Send me an email and I can get you off some of the information for that. Uh, as far as the fly fishing, like I said, anybody who fly fishes on the property needs to be registered with the property unless you're already up here with your troop. Um, but if anybody from the public or if you want to come up fly fishing on your own, uh, you do have to register. You can go to rescafalls.org and click on the uh, fly fishing then that'll take you to the online registration where you can print out your registration to come up here. So hopefully you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about the hunting and fishing programs. Uh, if anybody ever has any questions while you're up here camping or if you just want to reach out to me, um, I'm always available to answer and help you know educate you more uh, about the wildlife on the property and how we really try to manage it properly.